Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're playing Return of the Obra Dinn. And as always, all episodes have been recorded previously. But Return to the Obra Dinn, I think I got this from the lovely Space Angie. Who, uh, the person, the lovely person who I run the NAP Discord with. And I know that she played this game herself. And it's about finding out what happened. <laughs> that's all I can all I can say about this all right so let's start a new game uh, lost at sea 1803 the good ship Ober Din built 1796 London 800 tons 18 feet draught Captain R Witterall there were 50 men on board last voyage to the Orient Cape rendezvous unmet contact East India um, company london office for inquiries or testimony so it's an um it's a dutch ship <laughs> yeah uh east india company uh we ruled the world back then the honorable east india company uh attention chief inspector insurance and claims london office the operator is returned dispatched to falmouth immediately prepare a full assessment and I hear you say, what the hell are you talking about, Poofy, a Dutch ship? It's a London office. Well, they had offices all over the place, including London, but it's uh, it's it was a Dutch company, um, which basically, the Falmouth, England, 1807. The company was bigger. Okay. Man me up. okay. Said you need ferry to the old bread in. Yes, please. Did you get me there? Many eager for that job. That's fine. Seems a bit late if you ask. Time wise? Huh. What's in the box? I don't know. It's I'll hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! How? Carefully. Yeah, what's in the box? Oh look at that. Um no, but the East Indian Company was bigger than it was a world it's yeah it's it, it's not even comparable with the business right now they were bigger than kings back then they really ruled the nation all right so what what do we have we have go look around I love the old apple graphics we can climb up apparently all right what the hell happened What's going on here? Oh, look at that. <clears throat> yeah, that looks neat. Can we run? We cannot run. Do we want to run? I'm not sure if you want to run. What is that? Okay. So let's invest the explore. I can see a cage here. Ropes. Everything that you can find on a ship. There's a door. Let's go into the door. Um... Locked? That one isn't locked. Okay, so it's just a bed. It's also locked. This is probably also a bed. Yeah. Bunk bed. Oi! Yo. It's too heavy. What is? Could you please open the door? Thanks. Okay. Um. What the hell? Okay. So you said it's too heavy. Oh, maybe I... <laughs> maybe I <coughs> shouldn't have left the boat. It's too heavy. Yeah, Take that's... It yourself or open it here. Okay, fine. A book. What's in the book? D. Return of the Arbor Din. A catalogue of adventure and tragedy. Preface. I trust that you now find yourself aboard the Arbor Din. I expected this day to come, and my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. 
Regrettably, failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Oberdin is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within, but have elected to keep them private for now. Signed, Henry Evans. Uh, to journey, the ship, the crew, live at sea, sketch, back cover, loose cargo. Okay, Atlantic lag of the Far East route. There's, there's the Dutchies. There they are. Dutchies. Europe. Azores, Madeira, Keter. Wait, so they went from England all the way to South Africa. Um, okay. So what, what do we do about that? What can we do here? Canary Islands. Cape Ferd. Yeah, all the way to the South Cape. Okay, how do I, how do I close this again? Can I do? Okay, escape. The ship. Deck plans for the Oberlin. Surgery crew, starboard walk, that's where we are, cargo hold. Sure. The crew, complete crew and passenger manifest. We don't know. We probably have to fill that in. Sketches of life aboard the Oberdin. Underway. There are people here. Loose cargo. Part one, loose cargo. On the cargo deck. This book is empty. Okay. Fine, it's all empty. Just keep on. Woo, look at that. We go so fast. Open a closed book is tap. Alright, so we got a bug, and now we also get a compass. Memento Mortem. Remember death. Whoa. Should we go up here now? There was a skeleton laying there. So what the hell is this then? <gasps> That's what we do. We needed a compass. Captain, open the door. Kick it in. Ah, uh, lest we break it down and take more than those shells. You bastards may taste exactly what I give you. Oh God! Someone got shot. Okay, what happened here in this scene? Oh, look, that's so cool. It's just that little moment. And now we need to find all the hints and everything. So, you... You're a man with a beard. Wait, so he's the captain. Captain. Head officer commanded the ship, responsible for directing... The other officers and ensuring the success and safety of the ship's voyage. All right. Um, no, I wanted to go there. And then the crew. Show me this. Justice at sea. Underway. So I kind of want to know who the captain is. Where is the captain? Oh, my God. You look like the captain. You are the captain. Can I do anything with you? No? How does this work then? Robert Witterell is the captain. Robert Witterell is... You. 
you. Fates unknown. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. So you're the captain. You shot a gun towards this dude who I don't know who that is. So how do we find out who is who? How does that work? Yeah, I have no idea who they are. Fates unknown. You're the captain. You, I think you are the captain. You should be the captain. I mean, you look like a captain on this. Pretty sure you are. But who is everything else? How does this game work? I mean, I know someone got shot, but... Can we go into your... Oh, okay. Was it a timely manner? Do we only have a certain amount of time? The end? What are you doing? I'm not doing anything here. What? Who is this? How did they die? Three others were present. <gasps> but who is that? This unknown soul? This person's face appears blurred throughout the book. This blurring indicates that you don't yet have sufficient information to determine their identity. Oh! Their fate may be known and can be answered now. Trying to name them while their face is blurred would be unproductive. I agree. Carry on and pay attention. I see. Faces will become unblurred when uh, the information necessary to identify them has been revealed in some way. Okay, so he got shot with a gun by the captain. By Captain Robert Witherell. There were three others present. Robert Witherell. What shot gun are we? Oh, he was shot by and we don't know. So this is Captain Robert Witherell. We know that. Uh, Captain, open the door, kick it in. Unless we break it down, take more than those shells. Because it might take exactly what I gave you. Yeah, so we don't know who he is. Okay. Can we learn anything else? <gasps> we are now inside. No, we aren't inside. Oh, but this door opened. So we're leaving the compass mode now? The memory? Yeah. Oh, but there's more here. So now we're inside. Where are they? Must be in here someplace. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. Oh God, they, they get fight. Did he stab you? He stabbed you, didn't he? But he sliced his throat. The captain sliced his throat. So the captain didn't die here. I think. Oh, that that's weird. Oh yeah, I, I thought I saw something wobbly. All right, so this, what can we tell here? So inside the captain's quarters, can we do anything there? Or is it just that we have to, hey, there's a gun on the floor. Do we just have to take a look and then wait? Is that how it works? So the captain killed that man. The captain got stabbed, but I don't think he died. I 
This is the other person. Okay, this one got uh I think knifed. Because he didn't really get decapitated, he just got his throat slashed. And it wasn't a sword. Knifed. By the captain. We still don't know who it was, but... At the bottom of the sea? Yeah, that's a lie. Oh, whoops. Uh, location of the corpse is there, and two others were present. Knifed R. Witterell. Oh, knifed by R. Witterell. But we don't know who it is. Because he's blurred out. There's more inside the captain's quarters? Did the door open again? This door opened up. Yeah, you dead, man. Who were those guys? Oh, there's another one here. Is that the captain? Oh god, that doesn't sound healthy. Another person? Okay, so he got knifed. He died. Another person is suddenly here. He got smacked in the head. And the captain got knifed. Man, but he... He is... Dead. <laughs> so he came from here. There's another person there. Is that a woman? Oh boy, there's so many things going on. Is there anyone here? Nobody. This is just the back of the ship. It's beautiful. So there's someone sleeping. Someone trying to attack the captain again. He stuck a knife in him. And he got blunt force trauma on the forehead with a big stick. All right, show me the book. One other person was present. Uh, uh, he got... Is it clubbed? Struck? No. No, 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 no. It's not struck. No, it's not struck. Um, hey, he got clubbed then. By Captain. And there's another one. One other person was present. It's him. And the corpse was there. Nothing was said. Hmm. And thus the door opened again. So... It's so freaking dark outside. Oh, there's another one. There's more. <gasps> oh boy. Who are you then? I think we can do one more. Yeah, I like this game. This is... Your brother. My friend. I shot him. Dead. Abigail? I'll be with you. Soon, my love. So that first man's name is Abigail. Please forgive me. For everything. No, 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 wait. I need... Oh my god. He shot himself. Yeah, he, he's dead. This is the captain. And then... 
or is your name Abigail? Wait, wait, what does this do? Open the book while examining the face to flick directly to the sketch. Okay. Is that you? This person's face is no longer blurred, which means that they can now be identified. Use the book and a pocket watch to gather enough information to deduce their identity. Revisit memories of the ship using the pocket watch to study relationships, experiences and activities. Use the book maps, crew manifest and artist sketches along with the individual conversation logs to find clues about names, relationships, appearances and roles. There were 60 people on the ship when it left England. Determining everybody's identity and fate will not be easy. Decisive information is rare. You will have to make assumptions using partial information. Some identities may only be revealed through a process of elimination. Good luck. Well, thanks. I think we need it. So are you... Wait, uh, first of all, I'm, I need to... I need to be sure. Um, because it's sad. No, 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 this is not what I want. Okay, first of all, can I do... Yeah, so that's the captain. You're still blurred, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, but it actually, it tells you. It zooms in on the on the person. No, no. Oh wait, no, this is good. Now we can see the book. Now we can see the memory in the book. This one. This is what I was looking for. Because is he talking to Abigail or is he? Abigail, your brother, my friend, I shot him. So he's talking to Abigail, right? So he got uh, suicide with the gun. Captain Robert Whitrell shot himself. This may or may not be correct. Oh, come on. Fates are validated in sets of three. Correctly identify at least three people and their fates to have the information type set into the book. I'm pretty sure this is correct. <laughs> Uh, no one else is present. Then... This one is no longer blurred. Because this was Abigail. No. Not Abigail. Witterell. Robert Witterell? So that's his, our wife? Husket. Husket Witterell. So this, this must be William Huskett then. There's no other Huskets. Pretty sure William Huskett first mate was shot with a gun. And we don't know who that is. We don't know who that is. And we know who this is. And her name was Abigail. But we don't know yet. But what we do know is that we're going to continue next time. So thank you very much for watching. Return to the Albert Inn. I will see you next time.